And the, because of the COVID-19, uh, I can easily move to between China and Japan. But, uh, so for the moment, I have to stay in China. Okay, uh, uh, what I say, because the, I will be the first speaker in the, in the battery and the, uh, especially using neutron. So I will uh, begin with a uh, brief introduction about the neutrons first. Okay, so neutron as a characterization probe of materials and devices. So neutron can, can you see? Yes. Okay. Oh no. Can you see? Uh, neutron come to the material devices. So uh, sometimes we, uh, what I say, observe the transmitted neutron and we will get the structure information with submillimeter to the centimeter scale. And sometimes scattered and from scattered neutron, we can have uh, what is atomic to nano size information through elastic scattering. Of course, uh, we also observe inelastic scattering and then obtain the spectroscopy with the energy, uh, what I say, uh, level with micro electron volt to the 100 millimeter, sometimes electron volt. And sometimes we have a resonance. Uh, we can have a gamma ray and then get some compositional information. We'll con mostly concentrate on how to proceed. Okay. Mostly concentrating elastic scattering. So why neutrons? So one of the major advantage of neutron is transmission capability. So this is the experimental uh, observation in 1998. My student put the lithium battery of his old mobile phone on neutron beam. And we easily observe uh, change in both cathode and anode before and after charging without dismantling in 10 hours with an old facility of 1,000 beam power. So it is 10 to 3, 10 to 2 to 10 to 3, or more than that, much weaker, and takes 100 hours, uh, 10 hours to observe this. But nowadays, it is much more uh, intense, and the, this kind of change of the pattern can be obtained in one minute. So why neutron? So we can compare with transmission electron microscope. And this is the, some of the uh, lithium uh, cathode, lithium cobalt oxide. We can observe the like uh, cobalt easily, but the hardly observe oxygen or never observe the lithium. But in the case of neutron, we can, uh, with the neutron diffraction, we can obtain the lithium oxygen bond lengths with the 10 to minus three or four precision. And the lithium occupancy is 1%. So neutron detection obtained determine, can determine the atomic position precisely and detect the 1% lithium defect. And why neutron? Uh, this is scattering amplitude of neutron uh, for the cathode material, the lithium manganese or spinel. And we can observe oxygen, man manganese, or lithium. But with X-ray, that is electron density, we hardly observe the lithium. We are interested in the 1% change of this. It's never possible with X-ray. So neutron is sensitive to light elements like hydrogen, lithium, fluoride, oxygen, et cetera. So this is the scattering of X-ray. So because it is scattered by electrons and cannot identify light elements. So the, uh, this circle, uh, larger circle means the stronger scatter. In the case of neutron, it doesn't depend on a simply atomic number. And also we observe, we can distinguish the uh, isotope. So neutron is scattered by nucleus and can distinguish I. So this is the EV electric vehicle but, uh, batteries prospect, uh, prospect from the NEDO. I, I modified the figures and the now around here, 
So LIB, lithium and batteries, uh, pre present LIB is now going to change to the much more advanced hyper. An important issue is the cruising distance for EVs and long life for battery and rapid charging. Those are very important issues. And of course, safety is very important. So many EVs company uh, are, what I say, nowadays uh, develop them themselves, but also uh, combine with, collaborate with the various battery companies, Cattrail or LGS, LGES or Panasonic by et cetera. So especially picking up, for example, cathode, now they from lithium cobalt oxide to the NCA or NMC. So the, that is advanced LIB. And this is example of using neutron diffraction of NCA material for advanced LIB. So it is uh, the JPAC data, uh, our facilities data and 2020. So the NCA material uh, have a uh, better, what I say, uh, higher, what I say, perf uh, higher performance. And then uh, achieve the good thermal stability and electrochemical performance. Neutron diffraction in 2020 confirmed no catch-up missing lithium, between lithium and nickel in NCA. So this is the materials researchers' interest. And there is a second example. So neutron diffraction for NCM or advanced LIB. So this is the cathode uh, capacity with NMC111, NMC Five, this is the composition ratio. And the people are very much interested in NMC811. This is the higher, highest capacity, but it's very difficult to have a stable material. And low cost and higher capacity is very important in com commercially, but it is very difficult. Why unstable? So that is material researchers' interest. So neutron can solve what is behind the material. So this is uh, what we published in the 2021. That is, the, we, we compared occupancy of the, these three materials and then the uh, neutron refraction experiment 2021 showed NMC811 has more lithium defects. Uh, it has a much more defect. So researchers use neutron to know the structure property relationship. So this is the structure problem and then relate with the uh, property, battery performance. So after the present LIB, after the, uh, the advanced LIB, so people uh, think the possibility of all solid state LIB and all solid state LIB will be coming next. So what has been the contribution of neutron to all solid state LIB development? That is the issue. So this is one uh, article in the total solid state battery set to revolutionize EVs and electronics. And the, I will go further. And this is what we did uh, with the TIT, Kano Group, and Toyota Motor Corporation, et cetera. And then structure analysis by KK Group. So uh, this is the paper in 2011, uh, Nature Materials. And, the, and this is the paper, Nature Energy, 2016. Uh, so this is, we could visualize with using maximum entropy method. So how, uh, lithium is distributed in the structure, uh, and then much more uh, higher, uh, what I say, better uh, ionic conductivity material. Uh, we have much more three-dimensional network. So the, this is this kind of uh, uh, observation, this kind of discovery of material, that is a turning point to realize all solid state battery. So all solid can be higher conducted than liquid. So flammable electrolyte to the solid electron. So we have developed time of flight maximum entropy method to visualize ionic contributions, uh, ionic distribution. 
So that can help design information for design information for beta ionic conductors or partial or solid state batteries. So it is one dimension to three dimensionals and the conductivity relatively increased. And this is the different copper conductor, but the, we begin with this material and then try to apply this technique to the various material. So in the last, or I will talk about, I believe we talk about post LIB, what will come next? Uh, we have no idea about what will come next, but the, we also have to think about how neutron can contribute in the future or future uh, next generation batteries. The one example is fluoride ion batteries. This is the JPAC press release last year, uh, fluoride ionic conductor. Uh, and then it was uh, by lanthanum doping, the conductivity, uh, ionic conductivity increased four to five over the order of magnitude. So, it's, so we are very much interested in what occurs. And this is last year we published. So the fluoride ions distributed three dimensionally like this, that could increase ionic conductivity. So this is uh, not observing, uh, uh, what I say, dynamics of the moving the, what I say, ions itself, but this is the average structure, so-called average structure analysis. And the, we can uh, look at the distribution of the fluoride ions, but that can help uh, designing a new material. Okay, lastly, I'm talking about the materials characterization in operating device. So materials function is direct but the device performance, performance cannot be obtained by simply combining the best material because there are relation between materials and materials. So observing materials during device operation is uh, very much important. That is necessary. That is in operand measurement. Uh, this is the paper in the advanced materials, the, uh, what I say, published by the uh, what say, uh, Vanessa uh, Peterson's group, uh, what I say. And then she will talk about, for why this afternoon, she will talk about that. So I will briefly introduce what is importance of the, this kind of the in operand measurement. So this is our instrument. And then, and then a time re resolution is less than one minute. So we have developed a so-called spiker a diffract mirror for probing large size LRB through operand studies. So the, this is the, uh, we built the building for dedicated building and then dedicated chemistry lab. So many sets of experiments like off beam charge discharge or on beam charge discharge is possible. So we can make a long-term surgery experiment and many uh, companies or many university researchers can use this facility with the different setup. So we can use this for real battery development. So this is the initial result which we have for using a commercial a cylindrical battery. So anode, uh, this is the diffraction uh, peak positions of, of cathode here, and this is anode. Anode, uh, this is change of the voltage. So anode show, anode, this is anode show, and this is the black peak positions. Anode show step by step transition, while cathode show gradually transition like this. This is the peak position, black peak position. So this is the discharging time in minutes. So this is the slow process because this is the slow discharge. Uh, but we, we, directly observe and uh, at, at the same time without dismantling this battery, we can observe this kind. And the, what occurs in higher rate discharging that is more inhomogeneous. This is 0 0.1 uh, 
chi discharge, this is one chi. So one hour to fully discharge. So this is the looking only looking at the anode, and this is the stage one, stage two coexist, and stage and stage two coexist. But in the higher discharge, much more coexist here, and this is the individual. So low rate, step by step transition, but higher rate, two phase coexist, and through the integration region exists. Through the integration region exists. Reaction is inhomogeneous. And what occurs in much higher discharging? So much higher discharging to C, that is like uh, initially this is this in C6 and then C12 uh, and then change to the C18. But we stop charging, discharging stop in after 30 minutes. And um, but structure remain changing, remain changing. So direct transition margin, like uh, this in 12 to this, this in C, uh, uh, 24, T, C24. And then the discovered discovers C24 to March to C, uh, C18. So slow diffusion in, probably slower diffusion in C18 than C24. So we could observe for the first time with using this kind of inoperant measurement, uh, it is difficult to observe this kind of change uh, once dismantling the various batteries. So we obtained the large amount of data, uh, diffraction patterns, many, many diffraction patterns, and diffraction pattern changing on time. So we can we, we need the analysis method or procedure or tool to analyze all of them at once. Otherwise, people has to analyze one by one. Sometimes several phases appears and disappears, the amount of change and lattice parameter changes. But uh, we uh, spent on uh, time on the develop uh, expert analysis system. So G the expert APP helps you to analyze hundreds of diffraction patterns automatically. You can detect lithium atom as small as one person. This will move between cathode and anode during charge and discharge. Oh, this is a part of the result of the expert system of the, this kind of the mass ratio is the last part of the lattice farm. Okay, there are many other uses of neutron probe at JPA, but a, uh, today or tomorrow, uh, the, some, some, will, uh, some other person will talk about the, so like uh, through imaging, for a sun's experiment, for a surface structure by refractive matter or diffusion coefficient. Okay, that's oh, okay. I need to talk a little bit because I moved to the China and the sea, uh, Chinese pollution neutron source facility, but now it is like a goal of 100 kilowatts. So this is the full power now. And now it is four instrument is operational. And now uh, they are building a new, another seven instrument. They have a plan to what I say upgrade plan to phase two to uh, five kilo uh, watt. That is uh, nearly close to the J power power at 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 present. And the, they have a user proposal system. So now Newton facility has user user proposal system and open to all over the world. And China has also the system. And uh, that is English proposal accepted. And uh, next round will start in probably September and will be called in June. Okay, thank you very much. Uh